Hey everyone, sorry it's been so long since our last video. We've been really busy with our summer research and just figuring out what college is going to look like next semester. But today we have a great interview with Ben who just completed his first year at UCSD. There's a ton of great information in this interview and we really hope you enjoy. Hi Ben, thank you for joining us today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about which school you go to, what year you are, and your intended major? Hi, yeah, so my name is Ben. I go to UCSD, um, specifically Muir College, um, one of the six, soon to be seven colleges, and I am a declared CS major. Can you tell us a little bit about your high school experience and how that led you to, US, uh, to UCSD? Yeah, so in high school I did, um, like mock trial, Monty I Nations, and FBLA, and um, somehow that led me to um, CS in particular, but um, yeah, CS at UCSD. Cool, and just briefly, why did you choose to go to UC San Diego? Um, it was um, one of the, like, top options I got into, and it had a pretty decent CS program. And so um, I thought I'd be like, I, would, I was satisfied going there. Did you have CS experience in high school? Yeah, I took, you know, like the basic like intro to programming and then um, AP Computer Science uh, A, I believe it was. Um, but besides that, like those were mainly my sources of experience. All right, so let's jump into the academic section. So. At UCSD, what have been some of your favorite classes that you've taken so far? Um, I guess my, like, I would define my favorite classes as, like, the CS classes, simply because um, it seems like the intro classes so far have been pretty uh, lenient. Like, I've, you know, I've, I've, I feel like I've grasped onto the information quite well. Um, and so that made, that's made them easier. And so I've, preferred those over like other like writing re research papers and stuff like those classes. Typically, how large are your classes? Um, besides like small co like college, uh, what's it called courses, like the, the specific to each different college at UCSD. Um, mine are the others are all lecture styles, so like 150, 200 ish kind of students in a lecture hall. What do you mean by the specific college classes? Uh, so basically, um, I'm not sure actually for other colleges at UCSD, but from here we have uh, two writing courses. Um, they're called MCWP. And basically we have to take them anytime in our first two years. And for those classes, it's much smaller at uh, 15 people per class. Can you explain the college system a bit more at UCSD? Yeah, of course. So um, even though UCSD is, you know, like the big, the name that you know is the umbrella term. There's uh, actually six different colleges that students get put into as they enter UCSD. Um, soon, there it's under development for the seventh college, so there's going to be seven eventually. But um, you know, so for the six colleges, um, for the most part, the major requirements are the same. It's just that there's different college requirements. And so, for example, Muir um, has two writing courses that I, I have to take for a different college, such as Ravel College. They have uh, you know, a sequence of six writing classes, I believe, that they have to take um, over the course of you know, their undergrad experience. Wait, that's, that's really interesting. So is there, like, how do you choose a college or like what types of students typically go into each of these colleges? Oh, so um, during application season, uh, the, the portal for UCSD gave you an option to rank all the colleges. And I suppose there's like, there are stereotypes to each college, I guess, but it's not, it's not like too intense to anything. Um, I think usually it, the saying goes like, uh, Warren College has well, like the better, has a better like course pathway for STEM majors because they focus more on like sciences and stuff. Uh, whereas like, I think Ravel maybe has more of a, a humanities focus um, and so like, it's more recommend that you go that way. But honestly, it's down to like personal preference and like where on campus you want to live. Uh, okay. In terms of your classes, what are the professors like? So, you know, obviously you're in a class with 150 or 200 people. Um, you know, do you feel like the professors do a good job of reaching out to you and um, 
making you learn the material? Yeah, um, I, I think they do quite well. Yeah. So like, obviously, like, they can't get to everyone, um, you know, as expected. But I think um, most professors, though, the professors I have so far are, have all been like, quite attentive like they're not like the stereotypical like oh they're old they don't like they can't see hand raises or whatever like um, <laughs> people who have raised their hands like have been answered and you know there's like there's eye clicker uh questions as well so they can like take a very like accurate get, like uh and see like how the class is like doing in terms of like where they're at so yeah so um in terms of your classes what does the structure look like um uh, what do you mean by that like is it all lecture based or is there discussion and lab, uh, like okay. a ta um yeah so usually you know if we weren't in a pandemic it would be um usually like three lecture three lectures per week and then a, a discussion session somewhere placed in the middle of the week as well um and then there would be tutors available at like at certain hours in a place and you could like find all these on the class website so if you don't understand something in a class and you need help uh who do you go to for help or what resources are available um you can definitely send an email to the professor you can send an email to the tas at least for cs like we have a bunch of tutors that like literally just sit and wait at least, like Currently in the pandemic, they're just sitting in a Zoom breakout room, just wait for people to like come ask for questions. Um, and so it, it's quite easy to, you know, go on the, the website and then like find like two to hours and the Zoom link and just join and ask. Is it challenging to make friends in classes? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. Um, I'm, I'm sure like if you like put yourself out there, um, and like you talk to people that sit around you, like it's, it's quite easy to connect. Um, but saying that, it could be more difficult to connect with someone who's not like in your college because like then you would live like in different places on campus. And so, mm -hmm. um, you know, like after class, like you would walk one way and then the other person walks the other way and it's like, oh, you know, it was nice meeting you. I, I'll see you like next lecture, I guess. Yeah. And, um is the campus culture surrounding academics you know really competitive is it more collaborative and supportive how do you feel about that um i think i think it's definitely more collaborative i have not felt much like you know like toxic competition that uh like other schools may have been stereotyped about um it's definitely like oh like i can help you or like you know there, there's just so many people who like who can help you in terms of like like tutors and stuff like that in addition like um the students around you are also like going through the same thing so it's very easy to like ask them questions as well what sorts of interactions have you had with professors outside of class um i personally haven't had many just because i felt like i haven't needed to to talk with them for any reason but um i'm sure like people who have gone to like office hours have found it like very useful from what I've heard. In terms of class structure, do you spend a lot of time doing homework or busy work or is it more tailored towards just studying for exams? Um, definitely, definitely homework. Um, I, like speaking for CS and I, I don't know about other majors, but uh, for CS it's a lot of like uh, PAs or programming assignments. And so it's like coding up this, uh, like writing piece of code to make sure like a program can work properly. Um, whereas like, like I guess for assessments, it's more like, here's what we like talked about in class. It's more like application, you know, you learn through the homework rather than like learning through textbook. So, yeah. What are things that you like and dislike about your classes? Um, ooh. Ooh. I, I don't know actually I perhaps like the thing I dislike the most is not actually about the class but like where the class sometimes like it's an 8 a.m and you have to walk 10 minutes across campus mm -hmm. and you're like should I really go and you and since it's not pandemic you realize that you probably should go and so that's that's the downside like in general um I think 
all the professors are pretty cool you know like there's not like an aspect of like a class i would say like oh i don't like that um but like but um for likes i do enjoy how um there is like a, a clicker style question i guess like it, it's nice to to like not have to like your hand i guess and like put yourself as the center of the lecture room um attention whereas but like you can also like see how you are doing comparatively to other people and stuff like that okay all right next section we already kind of talked about this a little bit before the interview but this is all about research internship and study abroad opportunities so if you're not familiar with research opportunities are you aware of maybe friends or other undergraduate students that are participating in research and is that you know prevalent on campus yeah so i know the, the main talk um regarding this is like study abroad programs which um, seem to be pretty fairly popular i know that a lot of people uh have done them and are planning to do so in the future um in fact there's like a lot of memes currently on the ucsd page about how like study abroad programs are canceled because of uh, the coronavirus um and like people have talked about like, oh, you know, like um, studying in like Spain, France, like somewhere in Europe. Um, and so like, I know like, I'm, yeah. So a lot of like my peers around me have done those in upper years. Do you plan on studying abroad? Um, I've not like thought about it as like something to do. I've, I've seen it more as like a, if I have extra time, I can, yeah. Hmm. Is it challenging to study abroad with CS as your major? I actually don't know. I that's a good question. I, I, I assume not. I assume like most places to study abroad have like their own CS program. And so you'd be able to like go to like a university in Spain and like study like have a course under their CS program. Is there anything about research or internships that you know about? Um, I'm aware that like some of my friends who've gotten the region scholarship at UCSD have were set up with their research with a under a professor. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that you can definitely talk to a professor and ask for a research opportunity. Um, and then like hopefully things like go from there. But now on to a more fun section, uh, <laughs> personal one. So. What does a typical weekday look like for you? Um, I'm assuming not not during coronavirus pandemics, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing the yeah. Like, and just take us through like what time you get up, and then all the way to you know when you normally sleep. Um, so last quarter, I guess, I'd wake up at nine thirty for a ten a.m. class. You know, I would. Um, usually it'd be too late for breakfast, so I'd just grab a, a granola bar, hit the class. Um, and then on the way back from class, it would be like perfect time for like a brunch. So like I'd go and grab some food, um, come back. What do I do? Drop off my backpack, you know, see if anyone's like chilling outside. Um, I can go like hang out with them. Uh, if not, I would go, if I had homework due actually, um, for my next class, I would start working on that. Like that afternoon i guess um oh god what was my classes at? yeah just go to classes come back um and then yeah yeah so at, yeah, after classes it would be like just like hang out in our like common room area with like our floor mates um you know go get dinner and then like for the evening was just either like a, a homework session or just like like do whatever session with like people what does a typical weekend look like well, see, I'm I'm a fan of uh, staying up, and so I can uh, weekends. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a kind of an expose for myself, but I sleep. I like I, I like like doing things up to like three, four, five in the morning, and then so oh, wow. it's the weekend, so I'll sleep until like three, four, five in the afternoon, and uh, <laughs> like oh, like the sun has gone down. I'm up. This is let's get breakfast, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah but like the uh, otherwise it's like do homework like a little bit hang out with people like go to the beach or like stuff like that you know it's great 
what is social life like in general at UCSD? Um, I think it can be quite different depending on like what where you're at. Like I know for my floor, it was quite social. It was like there you know, people were like great to hang out. It was really fun. But I, I I definitely know how like people on other floors or like people on who live in other places on campus. Excuse me. Um, they've um, it's it's been like quieter for them i guess you'd say like even for people like even for the floors in my building i know that like if i went up like two floors it would be like quieter like there would be less people like hanging out um comparative to mine yeah and was it a difficult transition for you personally like in a social lens um from high school to college um no, I, I personally, I think it was quite a fun transition. Um, I quite enjoy that aspect of like freedom I get in dorm life. Um, you know, like just do whatever the hell I want. Um, so like, I, I found it quite easy. And I think I, I was like, obviously I could like call my parents if I like wanted to talk to them. I could, you know, um, call my friends and stuff like that. Um, to, like to have like a semblance of home. And so like, it, it wasn't like, it was like a, a hard transition for me, yeah. What do you do for fun? Mm. Um, so besides like playing video games, I guess, um, we like on the weekends, me and my friend group, like, I guess our floor, we'll uh, like head to the beach sometimes because um, UCSD is like, like a, a five minute bus right away from like La Jolla Shores, which is like the beach, a very large beach. And so, um, we can hang out, like run in the water, throw frisbees, play spike ball, um, and then like enjoy the sunset, like watch the sun go down. It's like a very beautiful thing to do. And it takes like then it takes up in an afternoon, which is nice. Um, and then we come back and eat dinner. Um, other times we um, like besides just hang out, right? Like for fun, we can go like we have this other beach called Black's Beach, and um, it's it's slightly closer so it's walkable and we would go down there at like two or three in the morning just to like see the stars and hang out by the ocean waves at night um those are yeah those are kind of the fun things we do off campus um on campus like besides hanging out we can like we can uh like go into someone's room and watch a movie or we can like uh like play on someone's someone's switch and do whatever yeah cool and what's your favorite like spot that you've discovered on campus and this can be a study spot or your favorite spot to hang out i guess so there's a so in my building there's a building right next to it that's also for like res halls and um at the 10th floor which is like the top level for students there is in the common room there's a, a giant glass window facing the ocean and so it's it's uh it's really beautiful to see like you know like like the the you can see the ocean in the back and then you can see like trees and like hills in the front and then it's just like you can also like see the sunset from there as it goes down yeah cool and this is also just a quick aside but at ucsd i've heard about your library and it seems to be like super cool or something oh, yeah. like like <laughs> apparently it looks really cool and also as you get higher and higher it gets quieter and quieter is that, is that oh yeah, something yeah, yeah. talk a little bit about your library um so uh when we walk in the floor you're walking on is actually the second floor um and so like the first floor is like the basement kind of the second floor is the loudest you know um you can go there do some projects with some with friends or whatever um and then from the third floor to the seventh floor it's like whispers like you know you can like work quietly collaboratively um but you can still make sounds as opposed to the eighth floor the top floor it's the rule is dead silence like you can it's so quiet because everyone's just like so focused on their work it's and the also the couches are like really comfortable they're like they're kind of like first class airplane seats kind of and so there's a lot of room to do whatever and it's it's absolute like silence in there Let's move on to the next section, 
which is uh, residence life and dorm life at UCSD. So let's first start off with, you know, like what are the dorms like? You know, you hear a lot about college dorms being super cramped. Is it like that at UCSD? You know, are there lounges, um, laundry mm -hmm. rooms, kitchens? Uh, how's the restroom situation? You know, are there triples, doubles, or quadruples? Talk a little bit about that. So for first years, um, it's usually triples or singles. And so um, for triples, I think the size is pretty nice. Like, I think I've, I've compared it to, like, um, dorm sizes at, like, UCLA and, like, Berkeley. And I think it's it's slightly bigger from what I've been told. Um, I've, I've certainly felt that it was, like, an adequate size. Like, I, I've never felt, like, cramped. You know, I was like, shoot, there's no more room. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed the dorm sizes. Um, for laundry... Um, I know for just for my res hall, the laundry room was like right, like pretty close outside. Like so, like you wouldn't have to like go too far. But for like I know for the old res halls at like Six College, for instance, their laundry room was um, you you would have to like walk outside and walk across like a lawn to get to the laundry room. It was like a separate, it was its own separate um, room. So like that might have been like inconvenient for some people. Um, but for me, it was like. It was like right on the same floor um and I, um for kitchens for for res halls we don't our kitchen area is actually just like a sink and like a microwave um and like some some cabinets for you to put like plates or whatever if you want um but uh oh for lounges the way that my res hall works was that we would have we would walk out of our suite like, you know, because we, we, oh yeah, for each suite, there's like, there's um, one, two, three, three triples and two singles. And so you have a total 11 guys per suite sharing like a, sharing two showers, two toilets, two, two like bathroom sinks. Um, you, you would walk out of there and you would have like a side lounge. So you would have like the kitchenette area on one side and then you'd have like um, a couple couches and, you know, a balcony area. But then you could also walk out of the side lounge into the main common room. And this is where like the large space with like, with like a bunch of sofas and like tables, excuse me, and chairs to like work at. Um, and so essentially speaking, we had, um, we had two places to like hang out that we could like call our own, I guess. We'd, we'd have our like our own side lounge and then we'd have the main common room. And then if you became, if you knew people on the other side, um, there'd be a whole other side lounge uh, on the other side of the building. Do most students live in the dorms all four years? Um, so first years live on res halls. They're called residences, residential okay. halls. Um, second years, you usually move into apartments. And in apartments, they usually like, you can have like triples, singles, doubles, or singles. Um, but apartments have, and um, after the second year, it's not, there's no more guaranteed housing. And so usually you're, you have to go find like a place to live um, off campus with like some friends of yours. How are the uh, RAs or like resident supervisors, um, you know, are they really hands on or, you know, are they just there to really make sure things don't go too crazy? Right. So, um, my RAs were um, very nice. They were like very, were super friendly. Um, they were definitely there to make sure things didn't go crazy, but they weren't like super hands-on, like like in your business, you know. Like they were, um, they were super friendly, good to know, and they they like hosted nice events, like social events, to like hang out and like to just like meet people, like in our in our like we we called it a house, which is like two floors basically stacked together. Um, so to meet people in our house like that. What sorts of social events did your RAs plan? Oh, so there, there would be like, they would help plan like movie nights where they'd like bring out their projector and watch a movie. They'd plan like, um, like, like, sun, like sunset viewing. So we have this place like called Gliderport, which is like pretty close to campus. You just, it's like a five minute walk as well. And it's, it's uh, basically like a cliff area overlooking a beach and you could see like the ocean and like the sunset. And so it was a, it's a place basically for people who want to hang glide and paraglide. And so like, you know, one time they were like, all right, let's go like see the sunset and we do that. Um, other times have been like, like 
for Thanksgiving um, or the week before Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving rather, um, they would like they would reserve a, a, a kitchen area, like a lounge, like a big with a big kitchen area, and then uh, our house would go like you know make food for ourselves to eat and just do whatever. Yeah. Cool. Um, in terms of your dining commons, you know. Uh, are they are they good? Is there a lot of variety? Um, and do you have multiple options? You know, for where you can eat. Yeah. So each college has their own like dining hall, and so they're all slightly different in style. Um, so, like for instance, Muir College has um, the dining hall of Pines, and it's more of like a, a multicultural kind of like dining hall. So you can like get different food, and there's also like you know, like a sushi place and um, and like noodles that you can get. But if you wanted like stir fry, you would go to like um, Ravel's College Dining Hall, which is called 64. If you wanted uh, um, like sandwiches, you would go to like Foodworks, which is Six's College, you know. Um, there, was, there was like a dining hall that served pizza exclusively, but it was like you make your own pizza. So it was kind of like mod pizza where like you can choose toppings and stuff like that. Um, and so I like I never got like tired like maybe I, I would get tired of like one dining hall in particular but then we'd be like all right let's let's go like to this like other place you know to eat um so it was it was it was nice um like they were all like they're all like five minute seven minute walks you know so how would you rate the food um not as good as home cooked food obviously but like for a dining hall like it's pretty solid like the pizza is like decent Sometimes a little bit greasy. The, <laughs> the burgers are nice. Um, you know, like the the noodles are like like decent quality. Yeah, I'm not like had any instance where it's like, oh my god, this is disgusting. Um, but like, they're not like the food at like UCSD isn't like as like reputable as like food at LA, I guess, like UCLA, like where it's like that's like the number one dining hall, or whatever. Um, but like on a scale of like one to ten we're like one is like absolute garbage and like 10 is like home cooked food because that's my standard i say it's like like a like a seven or eight like it's pretty pretty decent it's pretty good good to hear yeah all right so next section is just in general talking about campus culture social life and surrounding area so at ucsd so let's first start off with where do students tend to hang out on campus and off Okay, so for on campus, I guess it's like you could be in Geisel or our library, that's the name, um, like studying with people, like that's like their hangout space. Um, they can be like in their common areas, um, just talking to each other or just like in their rooms, just doing whatever, you know, doing homework, grinding by themselves. Um, so yeah, I, I'd say those are mainly the places on campus. Uh, for off campus people can go to you know people can go to like the beaches that are available like during the day they can go to um this this area like called convoy the street's called convoy but it's like it's a it's a it's a relatively large street with like a lot of like asian style restaurants and like stores and so like you can go out there for like like green barbecue or like boba it's like people go there like there's also like a 99 ranch market it's so like you can go there buy groceries and stuff like that and so people hang out there for the weekends as well um and then um otherwise you can you, i guess you can like tour like like take a bus right down to the city of san diego and like see what's happening in there but yeah it was the place i can think of for now we like to think about each school kind of having its own character or energy. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a bit about what that is at UCSD? Um, like, is it more laid back and slow paced or is it, is it a little bit more fast paced? Well, I guess for a quarter system, it has to be like automatically, like, you know, slightly faster than like semester systems. Um, but like, it's not like that like bustling or like that fast you know there's it's definitely like people are are laid back for a quarter system um you know just they're just taking taking each week by week you know how do you feel when you walk through campus it's kind of a vague question but like i don't know like um 
so if I'm just like walking at night, I guess it's like it's like ooh, like this is pretty cool. Like you know, it's like different during like like otherwise I'll be out here walking to like between classes and it's like bustling with people, um, you know. But like at night, it's like oh, it's like very relaxed, very calm. Um, if I'm like walking with my friends, I'll be like oh, you know, this is fun. Like we just talk and do whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. was that like specific enough for you? <laughs> yeah, no, that that's good. Yeah. yeah. And in terms of um, like the geographical location, is it um, close to like a downtown? Like, and in that downtown or little city or town, are there movie theaters, concert venues, restaurants, etc.? Um, so even though it's UC San Diego, the actual like school is located in um, La Jolla, which is like um, like north of the city of San Diego, and it's La Jolla is like definitely uh, like a, a richer area with like with like larger houses and stuff. Um, but, but since our we have free bus passes, we can like you can definitely like take a bus ride to you know like um, a place with restaurants like Convo or like uh, like a shopping mall center. Um, oh yeah, we also have like a Valley Fair Mall like that people um, go to for like higher like bougie or stuff like like if you want to eat you can go to, like Tin Tai Fung or like you know you can like buy some things at like Lululemon's or something like that um you shop by Lululemon like, often then I know I, I personally don't <laughs> but you know uh, yeah um and so um like in the immediate area like walking distance you can walk to like like a Trader Joe's pretty pretty easily um but like you can definitely take a bus and like go like to a movie theater like you know restaurants stuff like that how would you describe uh greek life on campus you know is it prominent or um uh you know like is it overwhelming to someone who's not wanting to be involved in greek life um so ucsd doesn't have a frat row so we don't have like like fraternity houses and sorority houses i guess um but they're definitely like still visible excuse me like you can see them like advertising things and like telling people to like trying to recruit people into their um, a frat or sorority. Um, and so I'd say like, if you're interested in joining, like you would definitely be able to find them. Um, but it's not like, like an ins like, it's like the, the school isn't focused on these, on Greek life, you know? And so there's definitely like, like you're fine. It's definitely possible to not be in Greek life and still like meet a ton of people and stuff like that. How diverse is the campus? Are there a lot of international students? I think statistically, I think like 20 quarter percent, a quarter percent of uh, a quarter of all students at UCSD are international, I think, um, mainly from like, you know, places like in Asia. Um, and so. Uh, that's, a that, like, that's, a, that's a pretty yeah. large percentage. That's a pretty large percentage. Yeah. Um, but like for like, in like non-international students, it's it's relatively diverse. I, like it's it's more diverse than like 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 Sunnyvale, Cupertino, you know. Like, um, but it's it still favors like the Asian race more than like you know like other others. Like I, I see more Asians than like <laughs> whites or other people, you know. But, yeah. What are some big events that go on um, on campus? Like, is there a homecoming, alumni weekend, a really big football game? So I think our school focuses more on like concerts. Um, and so in the fall quarter, we have something called Fall Y'all. And um, uh, like the one I went to, they had, um, they had like Foom and like Loot. I don't know if you know the bands. I didn't know them at first either. Yeah um and so like the that was, cool, that was a, yeah uh, dang like it was a cool like thing to do um in spring quarter we have um sun god festival which is another co concert that got canceled which is you know it's cool um but this concert is like the bigger budget one it's like they've had um bigger people like up and coming like rising stars come so like i know like like way back like 2010 or 2011 or something like that they had like I think like Drake came or something like that. Um, I think last year it was like Joji or something. This oh, year yeah, there were yeah, rumors. 
there were rumors about like Doja Cat and like some some someone else that I can't remember. Um, it's like I think concerts are definitely like the bigger aspect. And there's been like small concerts like throughout that have been like organized, but it's not they're not like pushed as heavily as like these two. Are the concerts free for students? Oh yeah, they're they're, they're um completely free. Uh, there Sun God Festival is actually like only for students. Like you have to have your ID card to get in. Um, yeah. Wow, that's actually really cool. Yeah, it's it's nice. <laughs> in terms of transportation, is it easy to get you know on and off campus um, without a car? Like um, you know, do people use skateboards or bikes? And um, you you already mentioned that there's a free bus system. So yeah. talk a little bit about transportation. Um, so I think transportation is actually quite nice in terms of the bus. Like I know. Um, when I flew back, when I flew to San Diego to, like, after, like, winter break, I took a bus up. Like, I took public transportation up to school. So, like, even though it was, like, like 10 miles away, airport, I'd say. I forget. Um, so, like, public transportation is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, for on-campus, there's, like, you know, like, limes, uh, birds, stuff like that, spins to, like, they can, like, put money into to travel faster. Um but you can definitely survive without a car. It's to like to get to most places. But if you wanted to get to like a like an off campus event at like someone's house, you know, you you could you probably have to like Uber or like drive there. Is it safe to walk around at night? Yeah, I, I felt like, like I guess coming from a male standpoint, I don't know. Yeah, I, I felt quite safe. Um especially walking in the neighborhoods uh, um the houses are quite large and um it's it's you can you can feel the richness in the area you know you can feel like wow like this is wealth um <laughs> is, so, is like, it very I like suburban is, is the area like very suburban yeah so the the immediate neighborhood like next to us i guess it's like kind of like um los altos where it's like the there's no sidewalks so you gotta like walk on the the um the road and it's it's uh it's full of like they're like the houses are bigger than the ones here like in Sunnyvale but they're not like giant mansions you know like it's it's like a large family can stay in there. So now we're gonna move on to extracurriculars. Uh, uh, what sorts of extracurriculars are you involved with? Um, I'm actually involved in this um, this org this business org despite my CS major um, called Phi Beta Lambda. Um, because I, I, it was like it was good to like I joined it really because they had like good opportunities like teach to teach about like like the like the interview like the business side of like CS if that makes sense like like the interview process like you know resume writing stuff like that you know it's like so um, I joined that and it's 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 more of a, a social org I guess but yeah what sorts of stuff do you do in, in the organization so for the first few weeks, we had like, we had a, like assignments for the new uh, members to like, you know, to write like a cover letter, to write like an elevator pitch, um, to research into whatever, you know. Um, but now the events are more like, um, like social hangouts off campus on the weekends. That's like at certain weeks throughout this quarter. And what are some other popular clubs um, or activities that people do at UCSD? Mm. I think the most, like, the one that stands out the most is um, are the the dancing groups. Like, there's a there have there've been like multiple events where like these dancing groups come together and like perform the stage and stuff. And there's like there's there's a ton of like groups who dance, and so like. Um, seeing those have been like seeing like the dance groups have been really cool um th we also have like two two large like student organizations for like for 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 asians mostly like one of them is called um one of those for like koreans and one of those for like vietnamese people but like <laughs> really like any anyone can join those organizations and they're very very social um you know it's like they, they have a lot of like like social hangouts, like parties, stuff like that. Oh. Is it yeah. hard to get into clubs? Like, you know, at some schools, there's an application process to even get in. Like, 
interviews or essays. Is that how it works at uh, SD? Um, no, for more, most organizations, it's like, yeah, you can like sign up and like come to the meetings and, you know, just do whatever. Um, I know for like for um, Phi Beta Lambda, we had like a, an interview process kind of, um, but that was just because of the way the organization works. But, yeah. Do sports play a large role on campus, whether that be intramural or, um, you know, NCAA? Um, I had sweet mates who did intramural dodgeball, actually, in addition to intramural soccer. And so they seem to quite enjoy it, which is nice. Um, I've, but besides that, like, I, I've not heard much about intramural um, for actual sports. We have actual sports. <laughs> okay, for, for like for like like competitive yeah. schools, like yeah, official yeah, yeah. sports, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, school sports. It's been like, like I've I've heard about like you know like games. Like I've I've been to one soccer game where we lost, which is great. I think our our women's basketball team is like relatively good. I don't want to like say like a division because I feel like I get it wrong. But like I like they're. I think the women's basketball team is like our best sports team um but yeah. like cause our our we don't have a football field our soccer field is like quite far from us or from the majority of campus um and so like you don't really hear much about sports okay all right so our last section is just kind of general questions and concluding thoughts so mm -hmm. i'll start with you know what was your favorite personal moment so far um, at UCSD? Um, I guess like the first one that comes to mind, that's like a specific moment, is like we were walking around at night with some people and then looking up and seeing like the stars and that was like, that was like, that was super cool. Cause usually like, like in, in Sunnyvale, you know, like we have some big cities around us. So we, like there's a lot of light pollution, but in La Jolla, it's quite dark. And so you can definitely see like some stars, like it's quite nice. Um, but in general, like my, like I would say like all my, all the times I like hung out with my friends on my floor or whatever, those have all been like very, very, like some of my best moments. What's the best thing about UCSD and what is the worst thing? Um, do these have to be like college specific or like? I mean, just, I, I guess, just in general. And I, I guess it might be easier like to like do like a pro con list rather than kind of like definitively saying, oh, this is like the one best thing or the one worst thing. Like maybe just list out some pros, list out some cons. I, I like how there's multiple, there's like different colleges. So it's like, there's a little bit of like, 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 like competition and like banter i guess between colleges like oh like you're suck like mine, mine is the best or whatever um but that, that can also mean like you it's it's harder to like connect it to, uh, not to connect i guess but like it's harder to to get to know people from other colleges because like you're always like in your like own like res hall like lecture like rooms whatever um let's see the campus is quite beautiful there's a lot of trees and stuff that also means there is it's bigger and you have to walk further to get to places um, um uh, there's plenty of dining halls like I, I definitely like that um they're also kind of far don't like that <laughs> how about the big class sizes oh i personally don't really care um I actually like I like bigger class sizes because I can sleep in them easier. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, for smaller classes. Okay, the only smaller classes I've been in, I've been like the the writing courses for like my college, and those have been like terrible. Like writing papers, just so many papers. Like it's terrible. <laughs> um, it's still, and I can't even sleep in the class. Because the, the the like the professor or the, I'm like oh shit I have to wake up but yeah. Is there anything that surprised you when you uh, you know came to college? Mm. Uh, 
honestly like, not really like I, I feel like college has definitely like met my expectations of what college would be like you know like what dorm life would be um and stuff like that um yeah that's yeah. cool it, it, yeah. it met your expectations and there weren't many surprises well, well, what yeah. were your expectations oh you know like um uh, being a dorm with like two other people like like you recently met you know like meet people on your floor and you're sweet um eat like go get your own food and spend money at like a dining hall go to classes do homework stuff like that what would be your most important advice for a freshman or a high school senior choosing schools Ooh. damn dude uh the, the, damn we're hard hitting here going for the the deep question support most support advice oh i guess for ucsd it'd be that like the for ucsd specifically like if you're looking at ucsd as a uh you know like a, a high school senior who got in like just trying to decide um the stereotype the negative stereotype that ucsd is like socially dead it's definitely false like i remember oh this is one thing actually um my expectation like coming in as a uh, a high school senior like every, like on reddit it's all about like ucsd stands for uc socially dead or whatever you know so like i guess that was like that was part of my expectation but then i got placed onto this floor that was completely wild and like stayed up super late just like laughing and like having like noise complaints called on them um and so um yeah like we, we've had like uh what's it called like those housing person like come in and like write someone some of us up because we were too loud um but like don't don't think the stereotype is the truth i think is what i would say like definitely there are like cases of where on campus you would see like you know it's not as like socially active as others but um if you look for it you can definitely find like a group of people to be socially active with yeah is there anything you wish you knew before coming to SD that maybe would have given, like, make you have a better time when you were there? Um, not particularly. I, like, like a super small thing I thought it was, like, you can steal utensils from granny halls, so, like, don't bring any from home. Because I, I brought like this plastic bag and I didn't know what to do with it. Like of like utensils. I was like, what do I do with these? Um yeah. Um <laughs> I can't really think of anything else. What do you think makes UCSD distinctive or unique? I definitely like the the multi college system. It's it seemed kind of like a like a Harry Potter style, like, you know, like this house like 10 points for Gryffindor or something you know like you have like different <laughs> houses or something like that um and it's like there's like some nice like banter in between um I think that that's that's what makes it stands out stand out a lot um but also like the area that it's in um you know like some very nice beaches that are very close um uh, I think like that also like is great Are there any types of students that, you know, should attend uh, UCSD or do you think that, you know, regardless of really who you are, you will find a place at this school? Um, I guess from what I've seen at UCSD, we have a lot more STEM majors. And so I guess if you are a STEM major, it, would be you'd fit in better not not better i'd say you fit in with people around like the majority of people but there are definitely like humanities like i have some friends in my group who are like psychology ma majors you know and so like they're interestingly enough they're like dating each other as well which is fun um but it's like yeah there's definitely humanities focus still um and like i think on ucsd's campus the like the students range from like from like there are people who are like who don't really like come out of their rooms a lot and like just stay in the rooms and don't really talk but like there's also a spectrum like from them to like like crazy party animals like i've 
I've seen both. Yeah. So I, I think like you can definitely fit in somewhere on that spectrum. What questions would you ask before choosing a school? I guess, um, like while applying, like ask yourself like, what, like definitely like pay attention to which college you want to be in, because like even though it's, it seems like like on the actual application it seems like such a trivial like like little box it's like rank your colleges you know but like these colleges like define definitely define your first two years at UCSD and then like the classes define all four years, um and it's like that your college is like your college like that's that's how you identify yourself you know like i'm ben i'm from here i'm a first year like that's how you identify yourself um and so like if you got into like a certain college like like look into it more than you think you need to so how, how did you go about choosing the college then personally i just kind of looked on reddit um they, there's like there's some um there's one post especially um, that was like very very detailed um, and so I just kind of followed that um, I'm glad the post told me to like rank the colleges in the way I wanted to so I got into like mirror uh, but now like six colleges getting a whole new campus because like that's in construction there's gonna be seven college that no one's like we don't know about at all and so I think now it's definitely more of like uh it's harder to do research because you actually have to like look into it on like UCSD's website as opposed to like reddit because now the opinions on reddit are slightly outdated is there anything else that you would like to say to our viewers um, maybe something we haven't covered or yeah maybe something we didn't think of um I guess not, not nothing in particular it's just like you know college is like something that'll define you like your four years but i think in general it doesn't really matter where you go as opposed to like what you do with where you go you know that's what like yes. is more important that's a good thought um yeah. thank you so much ben yeah that's all we have yeah thanks again for taking the time to do this i appreciate it hey guys thank you so much for watching that video we really hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll see you for the next one